Good morning everybody. I thought I'd do a bit of a... We made a decision um, that we would like to start um, Cloth Bombing Matthew um, for a few different reasons really. Um, first cost to it's better for the environment, um, it's better for him and a few other different bits so we decided to do that so I thought I'd do a video on day one of Cloth Bombing um, and a bit of a day in the life but we'll see how, see how things go. Um, so at the minute I'm just about to sit down and eat some breakfast. I have already changed his nappy and put him in the first one, which I've not, I didn't get to video, but I'll uh, put a picture in and show you. Um, Matthew is chilling out in there after having his bottle and his breakfast. And there's James eating some toast. You alright, pal? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. Yes. You stand next to Matthew? Yes. Now, are you going to sit down now and watch Toy Story and eat your breakfast? Cheese. I'm not doing a video, sweetheart. I'm not doing a picture, sweetheart. It's a video. Okay. Good boy. Um, so, as you can see, um, I need to clean the house. Um, I think I'm going to take uh, Jill and Matthew to go and see my auntie this afternoon. Um, depending on how the day goes. Um, so, yeah, I will... Uh, show you his uh, cloth bumming stuff in a little bit. Just about to get Matthew changed. Hiya! Cheeky boy! Because he's a little bit wet and I'm going to check his nappy. He's only really had it on for about an hour but because I'm still new to this we're just going to check and see so it gives me a chance to show you what he's actually wearing and then later on I can when I need, if I need to change it, then I can show you how we do it. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? It's quite difficult with one hand, but let's see how it goes. Open his poppers, and this is it. This is the wrap. She so feels okay. So we just open the wrap. Stuff and he's like that. And it's, ah, right, so he's quite wet. So we can change this. So this is what it looks like. Excuse the bum. Um, so now we can change that. So this is what it looks like. We need to change this bit. And then we can put a new one on. So I'll just get a new one and then I can uh, show you. That. Okay, so I've got three types of nappies. Um, so I'll just show, well, four types at the minute. Um, just move that out of the way. Um, so then I can show you what I've got. So I have a plain, normal Terry's nappy. Um, so you can always ask your mom and your gran about those, but I will show you how to use those later on. Um, and then you have these, which is the pre-folds, which is what I had on before, which is nice and simple. Um, you just fold it like that. Um, as is a boy, I need extra support. Fold it like that. That then goes into the wrap. Different types of wraps. So that then goes into the wrap, place baby there, and fold it over, and basically that's how it goes. Then you have this type. Um, which I like. I was giving this off my friend yesterday uh, who also does it and I'm thinking about maybe doing um, like a questions um, maybe like not an interview but if you like so we can talk about it with her if she agrees but we'll just see how she does um, so what you do with this one quite difficult with one hand put my foot on it <laughs> these are poppers <sighs> so it just looks like a normal nappy um, so you put baby in there, pop it over, and then uh, the wrap over the top as well. And this is waterproof, so this is why you need the wrap. You do get some nappies, which I do have. I'll see if I can get one to show you. Excuse the mess. Um, this one, which I got from my friend yesterday. This is like an all-in-one. Um, so you don't need the wrap as it's got the waterproof out in. Um, and inside it basically has everything that I've just shown you so you just pop this on and that's just more like a disposable yeah disposable but obviously it's reusable so so I've tried the prefold this morning Um, I think I'm going I can't decide whether to do another prefold or don't you wee wee or do one of these 
I'm not sure. But I'll figure it out. I'll put one on him and then I will show you the finished. So I decided to go with this one just to see because I just want to try them all out today because obviously it's the first day. Um, so I went with this one. I did have to fold it over once as he's still a little tiny baby boy playing with some salad tape. Yeah, to keep him entertained because he keeps rolling away from me, don't you, pal? Um, so we have that. So I'm just going to put the wrap on so then I can give you an idea on, on how it works. This is, um, I'm not sure how to say it. Ricky, Ricky medium wrap so and I got the medium because then I thought you can grow into it um, with the advice of um, a lovely lady who, who I got him from so let's just try and get him in this with one hand it's quite difficult stop moving here what's this oh the simple things so Right, I'm just gonna have to pop the camera down. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me doing it, but So I'm not sure if he was able to see me do that, but there we go. It's all done now. Um, and he's still got quite a bit of room here and here to go into, but I've took the nappy in, so that should be fine. And um, you can get disposable liners to put in for poo, um, but I haven't got any of those yet. I did go to Tesco to look for some yesterday, but I didn't see any, so hopefully I should be able to find some tomorrow when I go again. Um, if not, you should be able to get some from the internet or somewhere. You can also get like the fleece ones, the ones that you can reuse, um, and I quite like that idea, but I'm just going to have to wait a little bit um, funding-wise. Um, but yeah, so we'll try this one out, see how, how long he gets with this one. Hiya! Hey, being cheeky. A beautiful boy. So we're going to get dressed now, aren't we? Well, I stay dressed. We're not going out today, or we might only be going out later, so I'm just going to put another sleep suit on him so he can be nice and comfortable. So, yeah, so that's how it looks. So this is what happens when you are trying to clean up with a toddler and a baby. Look at the state. It is now... 20 past 10 um, I've been trying to get down come on are you being cheeky yes you being naughty boy yes it's not very good to be naughty is it no right so we're we gonna come and play with your toys or sit down and watch something no no what toys so I am just going to be cleaning up and um getting everything sorted. I've been trying to find somewhere um, to put all Matthew's new nappies because I did have everything um, just in a box um, and we are potty training at the minute um, with Matthew so I have this box, he's got wipes, no, bibs and underpants in there. Matthew's first nappy I got yesterday, well it's not actually his first nappy but his first size nappy um, and underpants um, but obviously I needed somewhere to put all his new nappies and things so I brought this down from the bedroom um, to put his stuff on um, so these are just some plastic pants um, these, this is the all in one um, and that is a fleece liner these are the pre-folds, smaller pre-folds. They're just disposables um, for when he goes to bed at night because um, I haven't got any all-in-ones for bedtime yet. Um, these just hug his wipes and some um, 
oh, nappy bags, just some Tesco nappy bags and some Sudocreme. And these are all the Terry's, so I'm just trying to figure out where to put the Terry's and the nappy nippers. So that's that. And now I need to find somewhere as well to put the box because the box was there. Um, but obviously I can't fit that there now, so I need to find somewhere to put the box. And that's usually Matthew's toy corner. Um, and James has just destroyed it, so I need to tidy that, hoover up, because my floor is gross, and sort James out. Um, so we are potty training in a minute, like I said. I am going to do a separate video on that, um, just about how we started it and the problems we're having and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, and there's Matthew asleep up, up there, and toys need to go away, and I'm not even going to show you the kitchen. Um, so yeah, so that is what I'm going to be doing now. No snow. Oh, we'll put another one on. Right, so I had a bit of a mad moment, as women do, and I'm sure you will all understand, well, I hope you all get where I'm coming from. I'm always looking for better ways to change my front room into. James, will you be careful? You're rolling on him. Come on, get up a minute. Be careful. Just let him. Um, so when I decided to do this I don't even think I showed you yeah I did when I decided where I was putting all these things um, just put a little few bits on top I decided that stop it I decided I was going to change my room around and um, so I have um, the little um, mamas and papas seat there um, in this blanket, in this blanket, in this box I have all the blankets because we use tons. That one's James is on top and that's my new cushion um, for feeding Matthew. And just a little table so I can put my brew. Um, obviously the couch, there's still the same. Um, and I've just moved Matthew's little um, toy corner to there instead. Everything else has stayed the same. Um, but yeah, so James is watching some minion thing because he loves minions and just messing about on the floor with Matthew. Um, so it is now, what time is it? It's now 11 o'clock, well just past 11. And Matthew's due in half an hour, so I'm just going to change his bum, um, put a new nappy on and feed him and give James some dinner. And then I'm going to have to tackle this. So, I read once that trying to clean up with a toddler about is like trying to clean your teeth while eating an, e an Oreo, so I think that's quite right, so we'll see. Okay, so let me know what you guys think, if it looks better like this here or if it looked better the other way. So yeah, I'm going to feed the baby now and um, hopefully he can have a, s a bit of a sleep and put James down for a nap. So we'll see how things go.